the future of Texas, the bullet train connecting Houston to Dallas, could finally become a reality. It's scheduled to break ground next year. The railroad's only waiting on final federal approval. We sent reporter Jason Whiteley to Tokyo to see the bullet train network there and to find out how that technology would work here. Few places on this planet treasure tradition as much as technology, like Tokyo. Actually, the trains are meant to be amazing, uh, much better than the airports. And nothing is more crucial to Japan's psyche in that sense than the bullet train. In Japan, it takes just about the five or ten minutes after we arrive at the station to get on the train, so it is very easy to check in and to travel. He's right about that. We walked up and bought tickets 15 minutes before departure, and the price doesn't spike for last-minute purchases. We paid about $43 for a 60-mile trip. So what's it like to be on a bullet train? This is an economy car. All of them, though, have high ceilings, wide aisles, and huge windows. These seats in the economy size, these are more like airline seats, but what's different is all the leg room. In fact, the entire cabin is much roomier than an airliner. And onboard restrooms here, substantially larger as well. This might look most like what Texas will get. It's a modified bullet train called the N700S. It's lighter and it's more efficient. But perhaps the biggest difference is it's shorter. It's eight cars instead of 16. And this is what 177 miles an hour feels like. The landscape is less of a blur than you'd imagine. And we easily balanced a bottle of water here on an armrest. But one question persists. Is Texas really ready for high-speed rail? What would you tell Texans who might be skeptical about this? Don't be. Texas doesn't have a vast rail network to help out these bullet trains. Will it work? So what happens to that last mile is, uh, again, an opportunity for taxi companies, for Ubers, for um, uh, hotels to build and, and businesses within walking distance of the terminus uh, to develop themselves. Japanese bullet trains are safer as well. Inspectors check bullet trains every six weeks. And get this, there's never been a collision, a derailment, or even a single death since it started in 1964. We already import a lot from the Japanese, but America has never bought a bullet train before. Texas is now on track, though, to transform transportation in this country, perhaps starting a new tradition of travel. Jason Whiteley, Kins 5 Eyewitness News. Okay, and one of us sitting here has ridden the bullet train. I have Deb. ridden the bullet train. And she it wrote? is. You took it to work it today. <laughs> no, what is it like, though? Honestly, this is like riding with me. I mean, it is. You're. It doesn't seem that different. Yeah. Than, yes, riding on a regular train. I mean, you are moving faster, but you don't have that sense of speed. Like he said, things aren't flying past. He felt it's, safe. Uh, yeah, I felt yeah. very safe. Okay, well, it's coming it's here all to Texas. That maintenance, yes. And right. Hopefully, we'll do that. But mm -hmm. to not have one incident. Right. Since no. the mid-60s? Very safe. What a record. Mm -hmm. What a record. Mm -hmm.